I was railroaded, let's face it. Hey, that jury, no matter what they did, they couldn't please everybody. I would have preferred total acquittal, and the uh, opposition wanted my hide. They wanted me hanged, let's face it. I thought it was very inconsistent. You know, how could I have been innocent of murder and yet uh, assault on the two survivors? Let's, let's face facts. Uh, I didn't go out looking for trouble. Trouble came to me, and I fortunately was able to deal with it effectively. What are you doing in the meantime? Are, are you staying here at the junkyard by chance? I've got a very good electric blanket now, and I've uh, managed to prevent any further thefts. And uh, don't expect any, don't want any. I don't want any trouble. How are you managing to prevent any further thefts? My landmines, machine guns, and my warning signs uh, are very effective now. It's about time people took me seriously and believed what I said about the mines, machine guns, and I let my signs do the talking now. I have a very even temperament. It takes a lot to rub me the wrong way. I have the patience of a saint and the constitution of cast iron. But I can be provoked. And I really always wanted to be left alone. I didn't want to be a pioneer freedom fighter for individual liberty. I didn't want to be a renegade, a maverick, a terrorist. I just wanted to be a captain of industry. And my government wouldn't allow me to do so because of the success and expansion of my business, a very persecuted, prosecuted business of auto salvage, resource recovery, better known as junk be before it became fashionably, fashionably acceptable to call it resource recovery. And the more people persecuted and prosecuted me, the more I resisted until finally we have this present occurrence.